We got a brand new, we got a brand new unboxing video for all of you guys. We got a brand new unboxing video. I don't know if you can see the down on the table. Well, it's an, an evil unboxing video. I don't know if you can see the down on the table. My small wooden table. I'm just trying to do it as close as you can to the camera a bit, but we're going to unbox all, we're going to unbox all of the Amiibo, including the one right in front of me. Without further ado, without further ado, we're going to do an unboxing video. Where did I get some Amiibo? Well, some of these Amiibo came from, some of these Amiibo came from Target, some came from Best Buy, but let's not waste time on discussing that. We can just discuss it as the unboxing on this video. We got a Zelda Mephi, we got a Zelda Mephia, Breath of the Wild Amiibo, let's do that one first. Open it up. I believe it's one of the ones that came from Target. It's been sitting around here for a long time. For a, yep, for a long time. What's that? Mega Man, Mega Man music in the background? Yeah. She comes with a lens. She comes with a lens. Lance and all that scan so you can scan. She comes with Lance, a little tri sphere, and that's it. Ooh, a little tri sphere, and I'm pretty sure she has a lot of information. A little plastic here. Boy, I remember there was a time where Amiibo what used to be, what Amiibo used to be, scalp and so on, and like crazy. But Nintendo limited it to one per customer. Euros, Euros, Breath of the Wild Amiibo. Oh, and I, I wasn't sure I already had this Amiibo, so I bought one. I bought one of these from Best Buy. Yeah, when I went to Best Buy, I went back there and I just thought I was going to buy myself a, a little camcorder. I saw tons of Amiibo I didn't have. I, and I had extra money, and I had money to spend, so I bought them. There was a time, there was a time that I wanted to buy like a Amiibo for with Amiibo for my collection. And by the way, I'm not really a collector. I'm not really, a, I do have a lot of Amiibo. I'm not really a collector. I'm just a casual buyer. I'll buy them if I see any I don't have, but. Yeah, I'll just buy them. I see what I don't have, but yeah, there's all the detail you want to know. I'll buy them, but. But Best Buy just has like a lot of Amiibo. The newest wave, they have a lot of the newest wave of Amiibo. I mean, as we get down, let's go to King Karoo. I already have a King Karoo with me, though. I didn't bother. I didn't find the old one. I'm pretty sure I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this from Target. In fact, I, I know I did. I don't know. The price of a needle are fluctuating depending on what wave it is. I don't go. With, I have never. I heard of MeebleTracker.com, but Meeple got so. Uh, there's even a website that tracks just how rare they are. I have never went to Amiibo because I got tired of people scalping Amiibo. I got tired of seeing how rare it was going. And I decided, I decided okay, I decided. But then Nintendo finally put this rule in place where it's limit one per customer. I remember seeing this video on YouTube where people were staying outside this, this Walmart, this Walmart store for wee hours, for like four hours in the morning. You have to be the first person in line to buy Amiibo, you know, so one person goes to the store with $500 and buy like 30 or 60, or 60 of the Amiibo they just put out because Nintendo didn't have that rule in one for customer. See, what was happening was, people were scalping Amiibo like crazy and Nintendo realized that most of the Amiibo that were just Nintendo selling products were winding up on eBay and Amazon and any other place you can sell them used. And they weren't getting in the hands of people who really wanted it. This is a big problem, Scalping was. So they made that rule was living one for customer. It's not just on Amiibo, it's everything. The GameCube controller adapter, anything that's Nintendo, you, anything that's Nintendo, you. Even when it comes to a simple game controller. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. Jin Run, Jin Run Pokemon. I didn't, I'm pretty sure I don't have a squirrel Amiibo if I do. So I got another one. Most of these Amiibo, I'm probably gonna do this. Most of these Amiibo, I'm probably gonna just use these in Smash Ultimate. I'm probably just gonna use it. Use these in Smash Ultimate and this. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna use them like that. Anyway, when I buy Amiibo, when I buy Amiibo, I typically want to take them out of the case. Or they just might have been, I typically want to take them out. I don't buy them just to just look at them or how shiny they are. I buy them and use them in the, in the games they're meant to be for. I don't know, I'm kind of having some issues getting the squirtle on out. Kind of had to shake it really hard, but yeah. As for the packaging, as for the packaging on the stuff that comes with them, that's nice, that is nice, but it's Squirtle Squirtle, Gen 1, Amiibo made in China, I believe. A lot of the Amiibo are just mass produced and made in China because it's probably cheaper to have made here or something like that. So, yeah, just so you know, you can sell their created in Japan. They're not cheap classic, they're not cheap classic toys, they're actually toys with lots of detail as you really can see it. Well, Squirtle, anyway. They're just toys with in the field. What happens is that people just get crazy. Scalpers just get crazy. Because there's no limit and people just start. Because Nintendo. And some of these amiibo are only. They are the only merchandise you can give some of your favorite characters. Not every amiibo. Not every character has their own merchandise. If it's Mario, Zelda, Kirby, there's probably. The more popular character, the older they are, the more merchandise. But. With some of these characters, amiibo is the only physical. The only, it's the only physical merchandise you can and some people just want to buy Amiibo just for that one character they like anyway. Now there are a few Japanese on Amiibo. I don't care to go to Amiibo Tracker. I don't care which ones came on to Amiibo. Nintendo's good about releasing them mostly in the West. They make most people happy nowadays. Ivysaur. Yep, I forgot to mention that. It was an Ivysaur. I thought it was a Bulbasaur. You can tell. Ivysaur. Definitely gonna give, definitely gonna give him the generic, the ginger, the generic name Ivy Thor next time I play Smash Ultimate. And for and for and for Smash Brothers Ultimate Amiibo. You know it's kind of funny when you sell these Amiibo. They say you can use them in Smash Brothers for 3DS. Yeah, it has that Martin Amiibo. Instead, of this, I mean, it's clearly meant to be using Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't know why. I don't know why they just don't update the pixel and fast or like a switch instead of 3DS anyway. I don't think these amiibo are working much older games because I don't think Inferno gets a playable character in the previous version of Smash Bros. Smash Bros. for Wii U. I don't think he's a playable character. And Cineroy and Cineroy. I'm pretty sure I only remember playing as him in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm glad he's a playable character. I guess he's everyone's, I guess he's, you know, everyone, like, every player goes crazy at the sight of a chore sword, but... A lot of people, have, a lot of people tend to like Inferno. It's like, that Amiibo. Maybe there was a vote in Japan. I don't know why he got an Amiibo, why he's a playable character. Who cares, Smash Bros. Ultimate is a great game. I don't care about the fun facts, all this is just an impossible video. Now, no one loves Amiibo like Yachty Club Games. Oh, uh, look at my old Shovel Knight Amiibo back from 2016, 2015. It's a pretty old Amiibo. It's been one of the older wave. That Shovel's not attacking like you fix your own right? When I first got it, I broke off the Shovel by accident. I just popped it off by accident. So, I just kind of... So, you can just tell it's just broke. You look at his hand that it's really, really broke off. It's not... It wasn't really meant to detach, I just kind of broke it by accident. There it goes. And then you got Spectre Knight. You got Spectre Knight. King's Knight and... King's Knight and Death Knight. I forget, I forget what the names are on Shovel Knight. But yeah, Shovel Knight's a cool game. Probably one of the most... Uh, good games. I think, it's, I think it's Lynch Lord, I think it's Lynch Lord Knight, but let's just unbox these anyway. I probably really use these, I probably use my Shovel Knight on the Switch version. You can't use them in every Shovel Knight version. Yeah. Isn't like Yachty Club Games is always making the most Amiibo who are not Nintendo? I don't care that they're not backwards from Bad Balls. I saw Shovel Knight Amiibo 3 pack. I just had to have it. I just had to have it. Yeah, I like buying Amiibos. So if I see Amiibo, if I see Amiibo I don't have in my collection, I'll buy it. If I see the new one, I buy it anyway. Hey, if if printing is making new waves of the or making money for Nintendo, good. Nintendo should never get rid of that limit one for limit one for customers. Well, 
it's, it's too bad. It's too bad that people walk into a store and just go crazy and spend like, spend like six hundred dollars just for a bunch of brand new Amigo just got put out. You know damn well they're only buying them just to resell them. He doesn't want to come out. I don't think he's in the original version of Shovel Knight. I think he's in the one of the upgraded version of Shovel Knight. Yep. What do you have? What do you have? I recognize Specter Knight. I recognize Specter Knight. He had his own campaign. A little cool Specter Knight. And you have King. King's Knight was all bling bling. You have the newer Shovel Knight Amiibo. Nah, if they make more Shovel Knight Amiibo, I'll make them. And they have a purple bottom to indicate that they're Shovel Knight. Well, you've seen the video, you've seen me unbox it, you see me unbox it, you see all the memes. you can uh, pick them all at once, you see the video, so you gotta pick them all at once, they're amiibo, they're amiibo, and they're finally been waiting to get out of their packaging. I got myself some Pokemon amiibo, some Pokemon amiibo, some Shovel Knight, some new Shovel Knight amiibo to use in, to use in this video. And I finally unboxed some amiibo that's been sitting around here for at least two or three months, so yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad how things turned out. And we have a bunch of huge packaging that probably might get probably might get thrown away, obviously. Well fun thing about this is packaging was already destroyed and cracked out. I had that cracking before I opened it. I didn't show it off or unbox it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it is. And I will see you in the next unboxing of video, whatever it is. It's been real. Primo!